this video we're going to graph uh, an exponential function that has a fraction as part of the base so f of x equals one third to the power of x so as usual we'll just replace f of x with y so we'll have y equals one third to the power of x okay and make a little table and plug in some numbers for x So 0, 1, 2, and see what we get, and maybe 3 as well. So the input, of course, is plugged in as part of the exponent here. So if x is 0, we've got to calculate 1 third to the power of 0. What's that? power of zero? Well, in fact it's one third over one third. The same thing over the same thing, which is one. Or you could just remember anything to the power of zero is one, right? If x is one, we calculate one third to the power of one. What's that? That's just itself, isn't it? one third, right? When x is two, we've got one third to the power of two. What will that make? What's one third squared? Well, let's see, isn't it just one third times one third? Which gives, one times one is one, three times three is nine, one ninth, right? When x is 3, 1 third to the power of 3, right? What does that make? 1 third to the power of 3? Press pause if you need to more time. I'm going to do it now, so please press pause if you need more time. That is 1 third times itself 3 times, okay? And uh, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So we have 1 over 27. Okay. Um, how about, so if we plot these points, I guess, yeah, let's press pause and just plot these points on the graph. Press pause and plot these points, and then I'll do it. So please do these, and then I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it now. We've got 0, 1, 1, 1 third, uh, 2, 1 ninth, 3, 1 twenty seventh, right? And it looks like the curve is going down and down and down in this direction, and it is. As the x's get bigger, these outputs get smaller, right? Like if x is 4, what will you get if, if x is 4? you'll get one third to the power of four which is one third times itself four times which is in fact one times one times one times one four times is one what's three times itself four times Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 3 here is 9, so this is 9 times 9, 81, right? So it's 1 over 81. So this point is 4, 1 over 81. So yeah, it is, a, it's way down here, okay? So the numbers, if it, the, as the x's increase, the outputs get 1 third smaller each time, okay? So if you go in the negative direction, I wonder what happens. That seems to be more interesting now, to go in the negative direction, like when x is negative 1 and negative 2, right? So let's calculate the outputs when x is negative 1 and negative 2 and negative 3. Well, if x is negative 1, we'll have 1 third to the power of negative 1. Now remember that a negative exponent means take the reciprocal, okay? I guess you could think of this as 
1 divided by 1 third to the power of 1. Now 1 divided by 1 third is the same thing as 1 divided by 1 third is the same thing as 1 multiplied by 3 over 1 or 3. Or you could just remember if I'm taking a negative exponent I just flip the 3 over the 1 third upside down and I get 3 over 1 which is 3. Okay, So this output is just 3. 1 third to the power of negative 2 there's a couple of ways of doing it. You could just remember that the negative part of the exponent will give you the reciprocal. So that will be 3 over 1 squared and the exponent becomes positive. And 3 over 1 squared is just 3 squared which is just 9. Okay, So this output is 9. The other way, there's another way of thinking about it. 1 third to the negative 2 is 1 over 1 third squared. Okay, which is 1 over, and what's a third squared? It's 1 third times 1 third, which is 1 ninth, right? And 1 divided by a ninth is 1 times 9 over 1, right? So 1 divided by 1 ninth is the same thing as 1 times 9 over 1, which is just 9, okay? So this is another way of looking at it, but like the negative exponent gives the reciprocal of the base of the inside and then you just need to s to take the positive exponent of 2 and square it and then you just get 9 okay so how about 1 third to the power of negative 3 please press pause and calculate that 1 third to the power of negative 3 okay I'll do it now the negative exponent gives you the reciprocal of the one-third which is 3 over 1 so we need to get 3 over 1 to the power of 3 and that's just 3 to the power of 3 which is 27 okay so the answer is 27 the other way of doing it is one-third to the power of negative 3 is 1 over one-third cubed and 1 third cubed we found is 1 27th. So we have 1 divided by 1 27th. Now 1 divided by a 27th is equal to 1 times 27 over 1 or 27, right? Anyway, these are the outputs. Plot these points. Press pause and plot these points, see what you get. We've got negative 1, 3, negative 2, 9, negative 3, 27. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it now. Negative 1, 3. Negative 2, 9. And then we've got uh, negative 3, 27, all the way up here somewhere, right? Now, if I'm just connecting these points like that, they go up and up and up forever. Now, be careful with this graph, because this graph, of course, will keep going out a bit in that direction because in this direction it goes up and out a bit as well it doesn't ever go back in again so it never goes back in again right and of course in this direction it never goes below the x-axis it always stays just a little bit above the x-axis right so this is the, the graph of f of x equals one third to the power of x.